Here are 27 tips for the game Insurgency Sandstorm. These tips are in no specific order and some of them can be applied on other shooter games as well, but I really do hope you find them useful nonetheless. Let's go! Tip number one. Everything you do from aiming down sights to talking in voice chat can be heard by the enemies, so keep that in mind if you have enemies in your vicinity. Tip number two, use the quick draw grip. It makes switching between your equipment way quicker and it will save your life more than once, especially if you're clearing rooms with flashbangs. Tip number three, smoke makes your player cough and it will be hurt by the enemies, but you can counter this by using the gas mask. It will also protect you against the chemical attacks that the insurgents use. The mask also muffles your character's voice lines, which will help keep you concealed. Tip number four, always cook your nades and your flashes. And no, I don't mean that you should put them on a pan with some oil and shit. I'm talking about pulling the pin off a couple of seconds before you throw them so that the enemy doesn't have as much time to react to them. Going out. Tip number five, you can reload way quicker by double tapping the reload button, but it will drop the mag, so you will lose those bullets that are in it. I usually do a quick reload while I still have a couple of rounds left, just so that there is a bullet in the chamber already and it doesn't have to use extra time rechambering after putting in the new mag. You can also hold down your reload button and it will show you how much ammo you have left. Tip number six, use molotovs to block doorways, stairs and corridors. Tip number seven, if you enjoy playing push, you will also enjoy throwing smokes. Trust me, you need them fucking smokes in this game because you won't even be getting to the toilet without them. Tip number eight, armor is completely useless against bullets and it makes you really heavy, so you might as well use those points on something else. Tip number nine, laser sights can help you hip far accurately, but it will also give away your position if you're holding an angle or something. So just keep that in mind when you're rocking one. Tip number 10. You can aim down sights to open doors quietly. Tip number 11. If you want to get good in PvP and learn all those different weapons quickly, play Domination. Tip number 12. Learn to crouch jump and slide off ledges. These things will help you move way quicker and they will also keep you from being an easy target. Tip number 13. Always use cover and also reloading cover. Do not be like this guy. Tip number 14. Flank whenever possible. It is a guaranteed way of getting more kills and capturing those objectives. He's dead. He's dead, Steve. He better fucking be. Tip number 15. You can see which ones of your teammates are still alive from the scoreboard. Tip number 16. The more stuff you have on you, the heavier you are. So consider leaving some stuff behind. Tip number 17. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Take your time and check your corners, but do not stay in one spot for too long. Especially if you're defending, you should switch spots pretty regularly because the people you have killed before will already know where you're located and they really want you dead. Move up guys, move up there. Mostly dead. Tip number 18. Crouch before you shoot. Crouching makes you have less recoil, less weapon sway, and it reduces the time it takes to aim down the sights, so you will be way quicker overall. Tip number 19. You can shoot off door hinges. This can be really useful, for example, if you know that the enemies are holding that door on the other side. Tip number 20. Don't bunch up with your teammates like a group of chickens, or you can all be taken out with a single nade or a rocket. Tip number 21. Don't pick the same corners and windows twice, especially if you know that the enemy is watching it. For example, if you think that the enemy just saw you in a window, it means you have four options. First option is to go around and peek from another spot. Second option is to just forget about him and move on. Third option is to wait for a good bit and then just take your chances picking it again. And the fourth option and the one that I really don't suggest you do is picking again straight away like a goddamn idiot and die with a 95% certainty. Tip number 22. Don't get locked onto a single enemy aka getting tunnel vision. 
If you lose sight of an enemy, there are times when you just need to let them go and focus on your surroundings more and the other enemies near you, because oftentimes when you start chasing a single enemy wanting to kill him, you will get shot in the neck by someone else, or the guy you're chasing will just wait for you behind the corner and take you out. So choose your fights wisely. Tip number 23. Use leaning to your advantage, it's a great way of keeping most of your body hidden behind cover. Tip number 24. You can replay your old games to see what went wrong and learn from your mistakes. Tip number 25. You can turn off the annoying ringing of your ears noise in the settings. Tip number 26. You can use your thumb as the general guide when throwing grenades. Tip number 27. You can throw away enemy grenades by pressing F. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you can find these tips useful. And if you do, consider subscribing to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.